Hey Zanivas, this is Super Zamaga Barbecue, and today we are going to get ourselves into this week's Road to the Viper, Road to Glory. But we're also going to look at some brand new Money in a Bank cards, which I know a lot of you are excited to see. And I think they, they've got it right this time. Some of the superstars last time were a bit like, eh. And you know, whilst it's nice to have Braun Strowman, and it's nice to have Charlotte. I think these ones will probably hit home better. And let's be honest, it's for the better brand. It's a SmackDown brand. So we're going to get into that in a minute. But we need to first of all have a look at the Road to Glory on the brand new updated. And I'm going to I'm gonna do this purely because one of the attitudes is Xavier Woods. The WWE Supercard Season 3 update, which just came out yesterday. Go check it out if you haven't done so already. I'll link in the video where I'll talk about it. And the brand new fusion chamber as well, which you got the hardened fusion cooking. I haven't, I haven't caved in to pressure yet, but I'm sure at some point I will to speed one of those babies up. Now, if you do like what you see in this upload, do not forget to chuck a huge like on this video. I can't believe what I'm about to ask you guys to do. But if you could hit this with a rear view, yes, I want you to jump, turn around, hit your ass on the like button. I will never ask you to do it again, but whatever. Um, just. Yeah, give it a go. Don't injure yourselves. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And let's get into... Yeah, let's just do it. Road to Glory this week. Go check it out. Uh, Roman Reigns, Sting, The Miz, Jason Jordan, blah, blah, blah. If any of these are pro for you, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, it's going to really help out my deck. Uh, well, not really. I'm still going to get myself the Charlotte card. Uh, at the moment, I've even stopped playing uh, King of the Rings. I know people will be thinking, why? Why do you stop playing King of the Rings? Because I don't need anything. I, I literally have got everything I possibly can want. And it seems with the Fusion update, at least, that we are going to be seeing this uh, the, the Ultimate tier, the Elite tier, the Hardened tier, at least until WrestleMania time. I cannot see there being any kind of update before WrestleMania now. So, And if you go back in the past and look at previous Fusions when they've been released, then you are looking at about four to six weeks before a new tier then kicks in afterwards. But if we have a look at the dates that we are, we're actually on the 16th of February right now. Um, it it kind of fits in quite well, and I'll explain why. The new Money in the Bank rewards will go live tomorrow, and what will happen there is those will run probably for 40, 30 days maybe. Now if you look at purely dates with the Fusions coming out, uh, they're not going to release a new tier before WrestleMania. They've pretty much confirmed that now. Uh, the new tier is going to come out towards WrestleMania. Uh, WrestleMania is on the 2nd, am I wrong, of April, which is approximately 52 days away from today's date, I believe, if my maths isn't wrong. Which means that I would expect there to be a new Money in the Bank format, maybe for another 30 days. But you are going to be seeing, at least I would say, you're going to have another ring domination next week, 23rd to the 2nd. Unless they release some kind of new game mode, which they could do. There could have been a new game mode hidden in the uh, Season 3 update. That may be very, very possible because they wouldn't have released it this week. So maybe that's something that's coming in next week. Who knows, maybe PCC will be back. We have no idea at this point. Yeah, we definitely need something like a, a, a boost into the game to keep uh, the game modes running. The 23rd to the 2nd will be uh, another event, which will be another pro. The 9th to the 16th will be another one. And now what I would imagine will happen is that we'll get flash events on the week of the 22nd to the 23rd. Because that week then rolls into WrestleMania week. If there's going to be an update for WrestleMania or some kind of new tier for WrestleMania. It's going to happen between the 20th and the 31st. It's not going to happen after WrestleMania or happen before WrestleMania. If we're going by what they've done in the past. So hopefully that happens. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below as to what we're going to see next. Maybe we'll see a brand new event as uh, NHL and NBA, uh, both other Cat Daddy games, have received updates. And they're both very similar to WWE Supercard as well. But let's look at these brand new Money in the Bank rewards. So let's go into that right now before we get into the road to glory. We're going to look at the current Money in the Bank rewards and they're very, very similar in terms of the style. We don't know the undercards yet, but we do know the main cards are an Ultimate Bray Wyatt and Naomi. I'm going to compare the cards now. Braun Strowman is the most recent uh, updated card. There's not many left arrows available at all. In fact, even in the fusions, there's no left arrow pro. So if you've got yourself Goldberg, Goldberg, or The Undertaker from either Limited Edition or the throwbacks, count yourself lucky. Otherwise, you're pretty much screwed. It's another right arrow, which is okay. I like I like the fact that you know we finally got a Bray Wyatt card in the game. 
and when you compare it against Braun Strowman, uh, he beats him in, oddly, he beats him in speed and charisma, of all things. Maybe that's just to kind of combat the different stats, but I would have expected someone in uh, Bray Wyatt's stature to be a, quite a tough superstar. Uh, he takes a bit of a beating in most matches he does, so that's how I would think it anyway. But um, he doesn't have particularly a huge amount of power, but he's got lots of charisma. I don't know if he beats Goldberg in charisma. I don't think he's quite that, that standard for the Money in the Bank cards. But I know that he has one of the best sets of stats going. So uh, let me know what you think about Bray Wyatt. And then we're going to go into the next one. We've got Sharda here. And when we talk about Sharda, we're going to be also looking at Naomi. Now, both of these cards, uh, Naomi and Bray Wyatt, both, if you don't know this already, and spoiler alert, at the most recent pay-per-view, Elimination Chamber, which these cards are obviously based off of, got themselves WWE Championship wins with the Elimination Chamber match ending with Bray Wyatt winning his first singles gold in WWE, something we've all been waiting for since he initially debuted. And then with Naomi, she won the WWE Women's Championship, which is again her first Women's or Divas Championship, I believe, at all. So it's nice to see both of them get their first respective uh, championships in WWE. With Naomi, she seems and seemingly is a very, very strong card. Now, of course, she does beat uh, Lita in two stats. She beats Lita in power and charisma, uh, although she's a much stronger card. Uh, she beats Charlotte in speed and charisma. Charlotte as well, if she procs. Naomi does beat Charlotte in power and charisma as well. The only thing that's slightly off is there's still not been a taggable card for Alexa Bliss yet. So King of the Rings are kind of very samey at the moment, which is one of the reasons I'm not playing them. I don't need to actually play King of the Rings at this, at this point in time. So... And Naomi, if you didn't get yourself Alexa Bliss, she's really useful. Go grab her now. And I believe she beats Alexa Bliss. So go check if she beats Alexa Bliss in... Uh, let's go to the catalogue, actually. But no, unfortunately, she doesn't actually beat Alexa Bliss in any stat. In fact, Alexa Bliss absolutely walks all over her. But I do think maybe we are overdue a right arrow female. Maybe that'll come in the next couple of weeks before we get to WrestleMania. Who knows? But let me know what you think about these, whether you're going to go for these cards. In terms of the points, I think they'll reduce them slightly. I don't think they'll keep them up at the same. I think maybe they'll have Bray Wyatt because of all the other cards. And most people are making their way towards Hardened, Elite, and Ultimate tier now. I reckon that they'll actually reduce these to get more people to, to get them. Because if a new tier is coming, they're going to release probably one more set of Money in the Bank rewards before they release a new tier. If we go by 30 days, then the next Money in the Bank rewards will be available before the new tier goes live. If we go by 40 days, then we could be looking at those Money in the Bank rewards kitting as the new tier starts. Which it has been done before with SummerSlam tier. It has been done before. Back in Season 2, they had brand new Money in the Bank rewards literally released. I believe it was the week or literally within the week that they had released the tier. So... It is definitely possible that they could release it within the new tier if there was something coming up at WrestleMania, but I'm just speculating at this point. So they're going to start the road to glory now. We're going to go after King, although I don't think I'm going to have too many difficulties with the deck I've got against an ultra rare team. But you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll give it a go. Maybe, maybe I'll get surprised. I have no idea. Um, but yes, I am very, very excited about these Money in the Bank cards. I won't be getting them myself. I, I've said that before. I'm not a particularly huge fan of Money in the Bank because it does take a huge amount of time out of my day to be able to play that game mode on a regular basis. I, I know two close friends I have who are very, very, you know, very, very happy with the mode and because it provides them an opportunity to grow and get into bigger and better tiers, um, they've been able to actually get some really awesome rewards. And uh, even when this was announced, they were saying about which ones they wanted to go for. Um, maybe one of them might even be able to get themselves a Naomi. That would be incredible if they could. But, you know, if you're going to get yourself one of these cards, if you've got Alexa Bliss, you're not really going to be wanting to get Naomi. Because there's no other taggable event female. You know, she's not particularly great, but her stats are awesome. Uh, and I think she's, she's a really, really good competitive card to use in the game. Um, but if we're talking about just pure use, she's kind of useless at the moment. But, you know, if they were to release a Natalia or a Nikki Bella card, maybe, in the next couple of weeks with their feud now starting to heat up on the road to WrestleMania, who knows what could happen? Who knows what could happen? That could be awesome. I would definitely go for a Nikki Bella card. Absolutely. Maybe even a PCC. Who knows? PCC for a right arrow female. Would love to do that again. You know, it's been, it's been a while. It's been a while. I'm getting itchy fingers. I'm getting itchy fingers. So, uh, let's get this uh, last match over and done with. Well, the last match is the over and done with. There's that Lita card I was telling you about earlier on from the throwbacks. Um, 
very, very important card, especially the fact that you've now gone up arrow uh, Lana. In fact, I didn't actually check if Lana um, has you know, particularly decent stats. So I'm imagining she's got around about the same stats as the Money in the Bank card. So, you know, she's got some decent stats. I mean, comparing her against the likes of Naomi would be quite interesting to see. Uh, Gosh, that's another title match there. You know, I only just got some super cards. You could, you know, lay off the title matches, maybe give me a reset. There's another one. See, I don't want title matches. It gives me title matches, you know. Thanks and stuff. Maybe we're getting through to the, the end of Road to Glory. But that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching this. Remember to hit a huge like on this video. We can hit the like button with a rear view. Yeah, I'm asking you to hit the like button with your ass. I will never ever ask you to do that again. Okay, I promise you. But let's hit a rear view on the like button. I don't even know. Also, don't forget to check the description below for details to Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Go check out, like, and follow all those pages. And also, do not forget to subscribe using the link that's going to pop up just down here. The little widget that has my logo on it. And uh, that will you subscribe to the channel for more WWE Supercar Champions 2K17 and WWE in general content. And I'll see you all soon. One last thing before we go, and that is to... SAFE!